Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. So what do we do with our spare time? My wife and I both have full-time jobs. We raise bison and we have a little baby girl. What else do we do? Welcome to the cabin life. So my wife and I, we bought um, 10 rental cabins last year. Uh, comes with an office and, and a home and, uh, and a barn. And my wife and I just jumped into something new, a new investment. We already had the bison going, but we had an opportunity and we took it. So let me introduce you to our cabin life. So welcome to Rocky Point Cabins. This is our cabin life. This is something else that we do besides our normal daytime jobs and raising bison, we also have rental cabins. Our rental cabins are located in Sulphur, Oklahoma, where I was raised and where I grew up. It's also where my bison are. My bison are on the east side of Sulphur and our cabins are located on the west side of Sulphur. We're two minute drive from Arbuckle Lake. Arbuckle Lake is just down the road, which is the main part of this tourism around here. So we're the closest rental cabins to Lake Arbuckle, which is just down the road. Also, you have the National Park, which is where Arbuckle Lake is. It's in the National Park. And that's one of the big things around here to do is people love our lake. Our lake is protected by the National Park Service. There's no marinas, there's no, uh, there's loading ramps, um, there's swimming areas but there's no marinas, no gas pumps, anything like that. Water's protected. Um, it's got a lot of good water that comes from the park service, or it comes from the park, um, and a lot of spring water. It's a beautiful lake, and um, it's the highlight of, of, of being around the cabins. So, besides raising bison, this is something that we wanted to do, um, and maybe just try a different investment. And we love the cabin life. We love going to Colorado. We love camping. And so what we did is we bought these cabins. So we've got 10 rental cabins. All of our cabins range from a one private bedroom cabin to a two private bedroom cabin. All of our cabins have outdoor grills. They have fire pits, uh, picnic tables. You can hang out and chill outside. Plus, we're surrounded by a beautiful canopy of lots of trees. I love it down here because it's peaceful, it's quiet, and uh, it's just a beautiful spot. We've got all the hardwood deciduous trees here. Uh, you got post oak and blackjack that give us these wonderful canopies of cover, and we have a lot of them on our cabins as well to give us lots of shade. So you can bring your family. This is a family place or it's a couple's getaway. Uh, we even do reunions as well. And um, we do several reunions a year during the summer and even in the fall. And you and your family can come here and you can get away a little bit. Um, so we have eight cabins together in this area and then about 100 yards um, part of the property. We have two more cabins, cabin 10 and 11. Uh, those cabins were, um, the latest cabins that were built here by the previous owners in like the early 2000s. Our cabins, like I said, they range from a one private bedroom cabin to a two private bedroom cabin. And where have I been? What have I been doing? I know you guys missed the bison. I've been really busy working on these cabins and trying to update these cabins. Um, I can do, when, when, you, when you have 10 cabins, you, uh, you become a handyman very quickly. And uh, I feel like I've learned a lot just from doing this. And you can save lots of time, money. And uh, so, just have Tim cabins. You know, if somebody has a problem, you gotta jump on it and, and hurry. Um, I, can, I can be a plumber. I can be an electrician when I have to. I really don't like that. Makes me nervous. But um, I put in wood floors. I put in vinyl wood floors in three of the cabins. Um, 
you know kind of a carpenter work carpentry work I can I can do sort of that stuff um, AC unit work and um, just you name it when you own 10 cabins there's all kinds of stuff that you can get into and uh, things that may rise up and so oh cable I can be a cable guy I can be a Wi-Fi guy you name it I've done it out here at these cabins and uh, I love it because it's part of the learning process when you got this many cabins and I enjoy it I uh, I love learning new things even though sometimes it can be kind of frustrating but it's okay because um, it's worth it and we want to take care of our customers we want to take care of our people here at Rocky Point cabins because that's what it's all about we want people to come here and enjoy their time here and spending time out in the woods uh, at the lake and whatever it may be some of you may be wondering what is this right here you probably see it on some of my cabins well what that is is a Wi-Fi um, it's wireless basically um, I don't even know what you call it my tech guy would be mad at me um, but these are attached to um, a couple of the cabins and we have Wi-Fi that circulates through the cabins. so so when you come here you can have free Wi-Fi all you got is hook on to um, the guest username hook up the password and you're good to go So I've been standing here in front of this cabin talking to you. Don't you want to see what's inside? This is one of my favorite cabins. Let's go take a look. Oh, can't see it. Yep, see, easy access right here. Every Anytime you book, you'll be sent a code and you can check in um, whenever you want as long as it's after three o'clock you can check in and all you have to do is remember your passcode pretty easy okay so this is one of my favorite cabins this is cabin eight canoe cabin so let's take a look around um, this is one of the first original cabins that was built and one of the great things about this that makes this cabin really cool and really special is the fireplace. Fortunately, we only have two cabins with fireplaces, but you gotta love a fireplace. Uh, just makes you, makes you feel cozy. It makes you, gives you that warm feeling when you show up to a cabin and you got that fire going, you can just hang out, have a drink or two and sit by the fire. So this is one of our larger cabins it's a two private bedroom cabin so cabins come with a full kitchen always have a refrigerator microwave stove important right back there coffee and we always like to leave you with some goodies one of my favorite creamers hazelnut Gotta have coffee if you're at the cabin. Okay, so here is the kind of the biggest bedroom. This is our queen bedroom, queen bed. We also have cable TV, and some of our cabins actually have smart TVs. And then Got to have a bathroom. Another great part about our cabins is every cabin comes with a back deck. So, you know, if you want to just hang out and chill, set in the sun, set in the shade, watch the sun go down, you can hang out out here. now you got the deck you got the woods that open up to you. you got your fire pit picnic table and your cooker so you've got outdoor grills you can use you have picnics 
and we also have fire pits so what I want to do if you guys don't mind I've had a lot of requests and I've had a lot of questions about our cabins from a lot of our subscribers if you guys don't mind I kind of want to bring you into this world a little bit and let you see you know the cabin lot it's a little bit different uh, there's not a lot of properties in this area that have 10 rental cabins um, I think we have the most rental cabins um, in the area but if it's okay with you guys I'd love to show you more videos um, I'm always constantly updating the cabins that's something that we try to do and for our guest is always just try to improve 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 and um, so I work hard on that and because I've been out of school um, at home um, with our kids just working online and now that school's pretty much over now um, I've been able to spend a lot of time working on the cabin so if you guys are interested and you want uh, us to bring you along on this we'd love to throw in a little bit of cabin life um, with the bison the bison aren't going anywhere I promise you promise you I love those bison and uh, I'm getting pretty excited because we should have babies pretty soon and Eleanor you know the the fan favorite uh, little sweet Eleanor I think she's the first one that's supposed to have a baby so I'm really excited about Eleanor just a couple of character things that I love about these cabins is I love this cedar the cedar wood is really neat I'm not sure what they put on it it looks like a tar that's secreted from it over time but I but I love the character in it um, we've done nothing to this this is just character that's built over time on this cedar this cabin is cabin 9 uh, I'll introduce it to you someday I actually just put a new um, luxury vinyl floor in it and um, I'm getting pretty good at laying floor it's not my favorite thing to do but you know it's my third one to do so when you've done a couple <laughs> you start to pick it up um, it's really neat this wood look at this ceiling how cool is that how cool is this wood I, I, I love this wood um, and it's like that around the whole exterior of this cabin So you guys are probably wondering, why cabins? Why invest in cabins? Why get into these cabins? Well, one, it's my hometown. Uh, I know lots of people here. Uh, I've got lots of help if I need it. Plus, you just more. I'm more passionate about it. You know, the fact that it's my hometown, and we have we have lots of tourism here. I grew up around tourism. You know, I worked in the national park. And uh, I just want people to enjoy it when they come here and so I just I, I like making people happy um, if you guys can't already if you guys don't already know that but um, you know we want people to come here and we re relax get away from the city get away from whatever um, you know they're they're leaving and come here and enjoy it and to come to my hometown and to come to a beautiful place like Sulphur Oklahoma nestled right here in the edge of the Arbuckle Mountains down the road from Arbuckle Lake and from Chickasaw National Recreation Area, which is our national park. It's a beautiful place. There's a lot to do here um, and lots of things are opening back up and uh, you can stay really busy here. And you know, um, we just love that and um, we like to entertain people. And uh, I grew up in the woods. I, I grew up in the country. I grew up, you know, surrounded by wildlife listening to the birds you can hear in the background you know hunting fishing doing all those things and you can almost do all those things right here you can't hunt unfortunately uh, my property's not big enough to hunt on so um, but this is why we did it and uh, you know it's kind of been my background um, not so much my wife's but um, it was really her idea to jump into this and and we did it together and and uh, it's a lot of work and uh, there's a lot of work that goes into it but we enjoy it and um, uh, we have fun with it and we just we want to take care of people uh, when they want to get away and uh, you know get the cabin fever going so if you guys don't mind 
we're gonna show you a little bit of our cabin life and i hope you enjoy it hope you enjoyed the video today really let me know what you guys think i love to bring you along on this if we can throw in a little bit of cabin flare cabin fever in there with the cross timbers bison farm bison are going to be there i promise you i'm going to keep showing you the bison so hope you guys enjoyed the video today you get to see a little bit of our cabin life what i want to do is try to introduce you to all of our cabins every cabin has its own unique name and character and um, just its own style and we keep that going uh, we've kept the names we've kept the numbers of the cabins because lots of people that come here we get people from all over the place and um, a lot of out-of-state people come here and they always remember the number of the cabin or the name of the cabin that they want to come to come back to and so we try to keep that going for them but hope you guys enjoy seeing the cabins if you want to see more just let me know i'd love to bring you along on this as well as our bison and um Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Um, if you ever want to get away, you can come to Sulphur, Oklahoma. We've got Lake Arbuckle just down the road. Beautiful lake. If you ever want to come check us out, I always leave the link down below. And um, it's rockypointcabins.com. And you can check us out online. You can book your stay online. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me. You can leave comments here. Or um, you can always email me through the Rocky Point Cabins uh, website. Thank you guys for following, and um, Bison are doing great, and uh, I'll keep you updated with those guys as well. Thank you guys.